Hello, my name's Ben Hartley, and today, Fujifilm just released the brand new Fuji X-T3, and guess what? I'm giving one away. There's a link down in the description. Before we give it away, we are going to do an unboxing of this baby. You guys, if you're new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe. Thank you for being here. Let's dive into this thing. exciting mirrorless is a thing you guys if your eyes haven't been opened to mirrorless I think 2018 is the day the year that it happens Nikon just released the Nikon Z6 and Z7 full frame mirrorless Canon just released the new EOS R full frame mirrorless and then we've had Sony who's been kind of kicking ass and taking names with their full frame mirrorless system, in particular, their A7 III. But we have a contender, ladies and gentlemen. We have the new Fuji X-T3 mirrorless crop sensor. Now this is the old Fuji X-T2, and I wanna do a little side-by-side -side comparison because they're very, very similar ergonomically. They're very similar on the shell, the outside, and I, but there's some subtleties. There's some subtleties that I'm excited to take a look at. So we're gonna keep this off to the side as a nice little reminder of where we've moving from and where we're moving to. But today, we're gonna be unboxing the Fuji X-T3. We also have a nice little battery grip here as well uh, that, uh, that we'll be attaching. A couple of the quick features that I'm super excited about on the new X-T3. Number one, the focus is so much snappier, so much better. You've got every single um, point of the sensor. Now is face detection on it. You also have now uh, focusing uh, up to negative three stops of exposure. On the X-T2, it was only negative one. You would run into some situations on the T2 in low light. I'm hoping to see that most of those have been solved. Video, we now have 4K video, 60 frames a second, 10-bit video, 200 megabits a second. That's insane. I'm so jazzed about this, you guys. Without further ado, enough with the X-T2. We're going to dive in and unbox the X-T3. Let's do it. Uh, first off, this matte black box. I'm all about that matte black life. Uh, a little caution manual thing here. Cool. Uh, RTFL. <laughs> this is the manual. Anybody know what that RTFL? Ah. Okay, cool. What does this say? Uh, Fujifilm camera remote. So it's got like this section here where it's just got little QR codes where you can download the app for the camera remote uh, because within the Fuji system, you can do um, wireless uh, JPEG transferring to your phone, which is actually really helpful, especially for a family camera. Um, side note, I got one of these for a family camera. Uh, and then they also have one for the manual in case you lose this hunk of paper. Okay, let's let's get past this. Okay, sweet. It's not sexy. It's just like, boom, here's the camera. There's nothing like snazzy going on. It's in like an effing egg cart. It's like, a, this is like an egg carton, right? You see this thing? So it's in an egg carton. Uh, so we've got that. Uh, we'll get to the camera in a second. Underneath, um, empty box. It looks like we're just probably gonna have some power cables here. Um, the one thing I do like about the Fuji system, we do use it for video quite often. And on the X-T2, we would use the DC power to just continually be rolling. Uh, and so this is gonna be the DC power brick. Man, this thing's hard to open. Ooh, ripped. Okay, so we've got a, uh, a little charger. No one cares about the charger. We got a battery. No one cares about those expensive batteries. We have a little pop-up flash what like no no one cares about that either we have i'm sorry i don't care about the little pop-up flash i tried on the xt2 and it was so annoying uh looks like a little adapter here for the charger maybe a little plug um and then a neck strap a little camera strap neck strap action so cool a lot of unexciting things enough with the unexciting things let's talk about the exciting things inside this egg carton. So here we have the X-T3. Uh, all right, so let's check this thing out. Um, we'll get to the grip here in a little bit. So uh, X-T3, we're gonna compare it side by side with the X-T2. It's gonna be the best way to go about this whole process. 
because they're so similar. They're so similar on the outside. All right, so now we're up and close here. We have the X-T2 here, the X-T3. This X-T2 is battle damage. This is the battle damage version of it, which means it's gone through two wedding seasons. <laughs> Brand new X-T3. Look, you're gonna notice, I mean, there's like right off the bat, it's gonna be the very, very similar profile, very similar uh, system, which I've also come to love. You guys, I love this. The real, like, Fuji's made like photography so much more fun again. It's reintroduced like a very like tactile feel with these lenses or with these dials. There's just something that's really fun to actually control my shutter speed right here um, uh, with them. And so you're going to notice that's going to be the same. On back, things are going to look very similarly, but do not be deceived. There are some really interesting differences that I am excited about. Let's take a look at the front before I talk about anything else. On the front, we still have uh, our focus systems here. So we've got manual focus, continual focus, and then single focus, right? Same thing as the X-T2. Manual, continuous, single. Uh, it's going to feel, yep, feels the exact same as the original. Uh, down here is going to be your lens release um, button, same uh, location here. We then have this front button here. I don't know what they technically call it, uh, this little front button. We actually use this as a front, front button focus. A lot of SLR users are all about that back button life, back button focus. We actually will use this as a front button focus, the exact same way as a back button focus. Um, let's talk about some of the differences that are so subtle, you guys, but man, they make a big, big difference. So when we look at the back here, let me kind of turn these around. Okay. So again, X-T2, X-T3. So one of the things that you're going to notice with this is these two buttons right here, your AFL and your AEL, right? Same location as on the X-T2, but it's, and it may appear subtle on the X-T3, they are larger, right? But more importantly, they're more pronounced uh, out. On the X-T2, they're pretty flush with the actual camera body. On the X-T3, they actually stick out of the camera body. What this is important for is when you do want to do that back button focus life, you're not a fan of this whole idea of front button focus, and you want to do this, you actually can feel the button. It's right there for you to touch. On the X-T2, you kind of had to like angle your thumb to get down in to it. Uh, and so on the X-T3, it's right there for you, you can actually really clearly press the button. The next thing that I'm already feeling and I'm noticing is, can you hear this? Okay, so it actually has a responsive uh, front and back wheel. And all I mean by responsive is it gives you a little bit of this, almost like a haptic feedback, right? Now, not a literal haptic feedback where it's vibrating, but on the X-T2, it was almost like this continual wheel, right? Where you, there, there wasn't very, there wasn't much click, there wasn't much resistance, you'd click in, you'd click out, like nothing. Like it just, it's very silent, it's almost like spongy. On the X-T3, it has feedback. There's an actual click when I'm changing from uh, adjusting um, my shutter speed or adjusting my ISO by clicking in or by punching in. When I roll through these to adjust again my aperture, my ISO, my shutter speed, I actually get that feedback. This is such a subtle thing that you haven't read about anywhere, but those two things alone, the fact that I actually have this feedback, it actually feels much more like an SLR would feel in terms of the substance of that. Where the X-T2, it's almost just like this continual roll. Making sense? Okay, cool. Let's keep going. The um, This is very subtle. It's not a big deal to me whatsoever, but it looks like the, the profile, again, T3 on this side, the profile of our wheels. We've got a narrower profile here on the T3 than on the uh, T2. Uh, so it's a little bit lower recessed. Um, this is something that I'm kind of excited about because I need glasses. I, I went through LASIK and all that kind of jazz, but like um, we have a large team of photographers here. A lot of people are kind of in a changing around cameras a, a, a fair amount. And this little guy right here, this is the, your dioptic. This is where you're going to adjust your eye settings. On the X-T2, it, it, like, it just rolls, right? On the T3, you actually pull it out to engage it, kind of like a watch, like winding a watch. Then you can adjust your dioptic and then you can push it back in. And now when you roll it, nothing changes. Um, it's a subtle thing, but it's actually kind of helpful when somebody else borrows your camera um, or, or you find yourself kind of messing with it, rolling with it, with it being so close here to your ISO settings. Um, 
Okay, you guys, let's just go to the grip. I think at this point, I wanna show you the grip because the grip has one of the most exciting things about it. Uh, the grip, and I'm so jazzed about what has happened ergonomically with the grip. So let's go ahead, we'll attach the X-T2 grip first. Okay, X-T2 grip. And we gotta do the uh, X-T3 grip. Let's do a quick unboxing. My guess is this is gonna be the least sexy unboxing portion here. We got some things and some stuff. And we got a grip in here. <laughs> Super cool. Uh, but I do want to show you something because this is super cool. There's a little cover right on the bottom of the T3 that's going to release those electric ports. So. Okay. This is what I want you guys to see. Okay. Check out what happens with the grip because right now there's a new grip it feels kind of like really another thing to buy, another piece of expensive gear. But the really exciting thing about what this grip does is it gives you an actual grip. Let me see if we can show you what's happened here is we actually have this, this, this grip where on the original X-T2, it just kind of wrapped around the X-T2 body. It didn't really give you much to hold on to. And one of the things is this camera is so small that you like need a hand strap to hold it. It's just so tiny in your hands. Um, this right here has extended out the grip portion. Now, a lot of third-party companies made solutions where you could attach like a different little grip thing uh, to the bottom, but this is actually given now uh, uh, a substantial grip to hold on to. Not only that, but I do want to say there's something that just feels overall the the intentionality behind what Fuji's done with the X-T3 feels like they're playing to, not playing to, but embracing the fact that this is a professional camera system built for a working professional. That, I, that, that, that like, it's almost like they made the X-T2 and they were like, eh, this is pretty sweet. Yeah, maybe some people go shoot professionally on this thing. Maybe people shoot weddings on this thing. And then we did, and we completely kicked ass on this X-T2 and they were like, wow, I guess we should really take it seriously because there's something that just feels like they've paid attention to maybe some of the similarities that you you're used to from an SLR. Again, the feedback, the responsiveness on these buttons, the substance to the click, the way that the ergonomics fit into your hands, the build quality, it just feels there, it feels solid. And, and, uh, and I'm excited about that. Lastly is this. Uh, we, I just want to show you the flip out screen that we have here. So, uh, and this is the same thing with the X-T2. The flip out screen can come this way. Uh, we can also fold uh, up like this, we can come completely perpendicular to the device, or uh, we can go kind of down, not a full 45 degrees. There we go, there's the full 45 degrees. So we have a nice little flip out screen. Uh, people tend to care about this these days. We do have two card slots uh, in the T3. Again, though, this is not new. Uh, we still had two card slots in the T2 as well, the X-T2. Um, one change on the T3 on my left right here is on the T3, we now do have, uh, oh, this is even interesting. Like, I think they've just, this is the T2 door here and the T3s definitely feels like a more substantial uh, build quality. Um, but we have a headphone jack in the T3 built right in. On the, uh, on the X-T2, in order to get it, you had to actually come down here and you had to receive it on the battery grip. On the T3, it's built right in. At this point, you know, we're gonna wanna turn this baby on uh, and I'm gonna walk through our menu system in the next video. I wanna show you actually all the menu system. We have a touch screen built on this thing. We've got an EVF uh, on this that has a million more points. We've got like eye detection auto focus. Uh, there's so many more things to talk about the X-T3 uh, that aren't just ergonomic, that are really inside. Uh, and so my next video, I actually want to walk through my setup of the X-T3, the, the menu system that we use here. Um, my buddy Steven, Steven Lois Down's story, has completely dismastered this thing. Like, he's gone through every component and we've really dialed in uh, amazing settings uh, for the X-T3 that really fit our shooting style. I'd love to share them with you in the next video. So I think that'll be 
step two. You guys, thank you so much for watching the unboxing of the Fuji X-T3. If you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And if you could, comment, let me know, what are you most excited about for the Fuji X-T3? Have you got your hands on one? Are you gonna get your hands on one? We will see you next time. Wait, don't forget to enter the giveaway in the description below. Like, I'm giving you this. Like, this, this, this could be yours. The description's in the link below, okay? Oh, the face dragon. Hold on. Hold on. That's so good.